Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I finally got to try and review the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Palette. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Carnival Palette with Stacey Marie Makeup Artist. So this is the XL Pro, which is the second one. None broke, thank God. So, <laughs> so when I saw that there was another one of the Stacey Marie Palette, I went ahead and purchased this and if you guys saw on Instagram a couple of weeks ago when I received it or when I ordered it I told you guys that I bought a second one so this one here is my one and this one is brand new unopened and I bought this one to give away so stay tuned until the end of the video to see how to win this palette okay so that's all I have to say and let's get on with the video okay so I can't find my P. Louise base anywhere so I'm gonna use the MAC Select Cover Up. So this is like the OG eyeshadow base and I'm using shade NC20. So I actually have only used this like once and then I ended up getting the P. Louise base. Apparently this is what was really popular before the P. Louise base was a thing. So I'm really going to make sure that I spread this really far in and really far out because I want to do a really 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 dramatic look today because this palette it does have neutrals but i feel like you won't do it justice unless you play with all of the colors so that's what i wanted to do today so i've switched over to a voiceover because i always talk way too much when i'm doing my eyeshadow so the first shade that i'm using is called ecstasy and it's a really pretty neon green i'm just adding that towards the inner part then I'm going in with the Hype and I'm placing this more towards the middle. And then to darken up the crease I went in with, it's like a dark teal shade and that's called Nuke. Then I'm going in with this blue shade called Make Waves. So I wanted it to be like a light green to a dark blue gradual. And then I blended out the edges with the light blue shade soft spot just to make sure everything was nice and seamless. And then I just made sure that inner corner colour was nice and intense. So I'm just using the concealer that I used to prep my lids to cut the crease. So I went in with a peach shade called Foolish, so I really wanted this look to be super rainbow, so I went ahead and added the bright peach, and it looked really pretty. Now I'm going in with the dark navy shade called Mood, and this is going to really add the depth to the blue and make it look nice and dramatic. So I couldn't decide which Fenty liner I wanted to use, but I ended up going with the lightest neon one. I forgot what the shade is but I'll list it down below and all of these liners come in kits of three so I'm pretty sure you have to buy like the kit of three to just get the one color you want. Okay I'm back so I just went ahead and did the other eye off camera and I stuck the lash on. One thing about the Fenty neon liner that I used, oh, I used this color it cracks really badly and I did the thinnest layer so it is pigmented but I don't want to go over it anymore because the more I went over it the more it cracks. I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm sure once we zoom out and do the rest of the face you probably won't be able to see that. So for lashes I'm going in with one of my new styles that's launching really soon in the restock. So this is one of the new styles launching if I can get it to focus. It's really, really fluffy, really wispy. So I'm going to pop that on. So for my inner corner, instead of just doing like a plain highlight, I was thinking of adding a little bit of this from Huda Beauty. It's the Melted Shadow. This one is in shade Gold Chains, but I just wanted to put it on my hand a little bit. Can you guys hear Ava? She's inside with my mom. So it's like a yellowy sort of tone. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of this, but then I'll put a highlighter over the top. Oh yeah, that looks really, really good. I'm just going to place it and then I'll blend it. you got to be careful with these because they dry pretty quickly. Oh, oh, oh. 
because it's wet and you're putting it on top of powder it can turn real bad real quick and then just to amplify it I'm gonna add a little bit of fair play so this is the lightest highlighter that comes in the palette I want this to be like super blinding and bright. Okay, so for foundation today, I think I'm actually going to go in and use the Born This Way. I haven't used it in so, so long. So I've been using a lot of more dewy foundations, but because this is such a dramatic look, I feel like it needs a really matte base, like a very full coverage matte base so i'm going to go in with the Too Faced and i'm just using the fasali skin tune blur i'm kind of just trying to mix up my foundation routine i feel like i'm using the same primer and the same foundation every day so i just want to do something a little bit different for today's video look how colorful i am i've got blue nails i've got green and peach eyes like this is crazy lately i've just been so inspired to be colorful and creative i think because i've been so busy working on the business the online store i've been busy with ava so whenever my mom's really busy i find that i struggle because she's the one that kind of like minds ava and looks after her when i have to film and work so i've just been stuck in the office doing all work stuff and just doing everything with Ava. So to blend in my foundation today I'm using one of the new brushes I got from Anne Hazarati. So that is what it looks like and these feel so luxurious. This is blending in my foundation like a dream. It's so good. By the way for the foundation today I mixed warm beige and sand. So I'm usually warm beige and warm nude when I'm not tan. So I mix the two but when I'm tan, I mix a little bit of sand. So for concealer, I'm also going to use the Too Faced Born This Way. I think I'm going to mix the vanilla and golden beige because once I add the contour, I feel like vanilla might be a little bit light. So I'm just going to go in with golden beige to neutralize because it's closer to my foundation color and then we'll go over the top with vanilla to brighten and then I'm just using the smaller brush this one is called F04 to blend it out so I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in medium it is a darker shade but I just feel like I need a lot of cream contouring to bring color back into my face because it just looks so white. I don't know if it's because I'm really tanned or if it's because the eye look is just really dramatic, but I feel like I need a lot. So I'm just kind of like stamping it all in and then I'll blend it in properly in a second. I'm about to bake my under eyes and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent and I'm using the little powder puff too. I've been really, really obsessed with using this to bake lately. I'll leave some links down below for where you can get this because I get so many questions about where to get it from. I feel like I got mine off Cult Beauty, um, but I'll leave a bunch of links down below because I know sometimes they're sold out because I feel like I went to grab another one because it got a little bit of like lash glue and it's a bit dirty now. So I feel like I want to get into like the pinks and the oranges just so it's like a really rainbow look. So back to the voiceover, I'm taking the peach shade Foolish on the inner corner. Then I went in with that neon orange shade called Lit and I placed that on the middle portion. And then I went in with the bright pink shade and I smoked out from the middle all the way to the end of the wing. Then I went in with the purple shade Busted and I just pressed that in 
right along the lash line just to define it and I really really like how all of the colors mix together. So for my waterline I use the Neon Shockwave liner from LA Girl in the color Pop and these are super long wearing for a neon liner. So to wipe away my translucent powder I like to dip my brush into the highlighting powders in the Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette and I feel like it adds an extra boost of like light lifting. And then to bronze I use the bronzing palette from Il Maquillage. I love that middle bronze shade so I tend to always just go for that one in the middle. I don't really use the other two very much unless I'm doing like a really chiseled look. And then I'm just using the setting spray from Morphe. This is probably my favorite setting spray ever because of the fine mist. You can really go ham and it doesn't do anything to your makeup. It just sets it in place so perfectly. And I just like to go in and press it in to make sure everything's nice and seamless. And then, of course, I just have to add some bottom mascara. I can never leave this step out. I feel like it really completes the look. Okay, so I love that this palette comes with three highlighters, so this one for fair skin, medium skin, and deep skin. I'm just going to swatch it on my finger, so that's the middle shade, and then I'll swatch them all actually. So that is all three of the highlighters, so that's definitely my perfect highlight shade. Okay, so the middle shade is called Gold Luxe. I'm going to start my nose. Actually, yeah, that's okay. Wow, that is really bright. Oh, that is a good highlighter. And just a little bit on the forehead. I feel like I cannot... Whoa! I cannot do a look without a nice forehead highlight. Just gonna put a dab up here. So for lips, I have quite a few new products I really wanted to try. So one of them is the Carly by Bell and Il Maquillage lip kits. I got it in two different colors. So one is the more nudie one, and one is the more pinky one. So I'm definitely going to use these lip liners today. I'm not gonna do a gloss. I am gonna do. A more matte lip I don't want it to be dark I want it to be really nude I feel like with a really bright eye it just has to be nude whether it's matte or glossy it really has to be nude so I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner in shade Luna it's a nude and I'm just gonna press really softly because I don't want it to be too too dark Okay, so I don't want my lips to go too ashy, so I'm going to use a little bit of Bible. So this one's a little bit more pinky, that's the color. And I'm just going to shade in with this one. So I still want it to be nude, but I just want a little bit of like warmth to it. Because I feel like the pinky will make it not go ashy. I want to try and avoid that today. I really like the tone of the lip liner, so I don't want to change it too much. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Boy Toy from Morphe. It's a really nice nude. And this one is a mega matte, so it's like super. Oh, wow. It's like really matte. I'm not going to add too much because I don't want to make it overly nude. Okay, so for blush, I definitely want to keep it more neutral, so I'm going to go in with Kylie Cosmetics in Baddie on the Block. I'm not going to put too much, I'm just going to put a little bit just so it's all tied in together and maybe next time I'll do something a little bit more crazy. So I'm super happy with how today's look came out and this palette definitely inspires you to get out of your comfort zone, so even though it is like a good 
two rows of neutral colors it did inspire me to do something colorful and out of my comfort zone and i really love how the shadows work the formula is pretty much the exact same as the laverna palette and looking at the ingredients there are a lot of similarities so i thought i would mention that so for anyone that's still here at the end of the video i am giving away one of the carnival palette to someone in the comments so this one is brand new unopened in the box still not touched exactly the same as this one and i'm going to be giving it away in the comments so to win this palette all you guys have to do is of course watch this video which you already have like the video turn the post notifications on and leave a comment down below you can leave any comment just make sure you've left a way that i can contact you because when i pick a winner i'll just message you either on instagram or email so that is it for today's video make sure you follow all the steps to enter the giveaway and i can't wait to pick a winner so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye